Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a landscape and lifestyle photographer based in Brisbane, Australia. And here in my hands, I've got one of the very first Canon 6D Mark IIs. I've been shooting on 6D for several years, so I'm really excited to finally have one of these cameras to test out. Come down here to the Seacliff Bridge to give it a good test and see what this camera has to offer. So when I'm out shooting, I really like to look for unique angles and things going on that you might not normally be able to capture or see. That's why I really like this spot. Uh, there's plenty of low-lying puddles and reflections happening, especially with that bridge in the background and sunset reflecting those puddles. Um, so this camera has got a really neat feature. I'm able to shoot from this low angle using this flip screen. I can compose and shoot on the touch screen with the touch shutter. It's really simple, really intuitive. So coming from an original 6D, I can really notice the uh, speed and accuracy of this focusing system. So there's some nice colour coming through on these clouds here. Um, what I'm going to try and do is get a model to walk through, frame up a nice shot there with a silhouette against some of the splashing waves. Sun's just set, the light's pretty much gone. My feet are absolutely drenched, but I've got some cool shots, so I'd say it's time to head up to the bridge and give this camera a proper run through to test its low light capabilities. We've just found a new vantage point up here overlooking the bridge. It's going to be really nice to get some of these car trails showing the shape of the bridge going around those cliffs. There's a little bit of light left from sunset so this should be a good tester of this camera's low light performance so we'll see how she goes. So for this particular shot I'm shooting 30 second exposure F5 ISO 1250. Um, there is a little bit of light left so as the light dims I might want to have a play with the ISO just to see how far I can push this body. So normally with a night shoot like this, I'd flip my camera to manual focus and use the magnifier setting to get a sharp focus. With this, I'm actually able to focus on lights in the distance just by using the touch feature. So we've just finished up. Just been going through some of the shots that I've been taking tonight. I'm pretty impressed with what this camera has delivered so far. Um, it's safe to say this is gonna be a pretty anticipated upgrade for someone like myself who's been using a 6D Mark I for quite some time. So pretty excited to get my hands on one of these. I can really see someone like myself making a great use of these new upgrades, especially that articulated LCD screen and improved low light performance. It's really going to help me push my creativity and find new ways to get new shots. <laughs>